These are particles. They're all over Minecraft and you can harness their power with slash particle. First, you need a particle to use. They're all laid out in the wiki linked in the description. Some will have extra parameters, so I'm gonna choose an easy one like enchanted hit. Also for this example, I'll be using a repeating and always active command block. Next, we have to define a location for this particle in X, Y, Z coordinates. I will use tildes to choose the block right above this command block. Next, there's the delta, which involves three numbers. This describes how much each axis can vary when the particle spawns. So a particle with one, one, and one will let the particle spawn anywhere within a six by six by six block region around these coordinates we mentioned earlier. As you can tell, the delta is multiplied by six, so a delta of two will expand the region to 12 in that axis. Speaking of which, each number corresponds to a different axis, so x is controlled by the first number, y by the second, and z by the third. After that, you'll come across a speed number. This depends a lot on the particle you choose, since some particles automatically try to move in random directions, while some try to fall or rise slowly. But in this example, speed will decide how fast that particle will shoot off in random directions. Now for the count. This is pretty simple. This number here tells the game how many particles to place. Except that a count of zero has entirely different functionality. It will summon one particle, but now the delta numbers will tell this particle what direction to move in and by how much. A delta of zero, ten, and zero will make the particle shoot upwards by ten blocks. Negatives work with delta two, and speed will not control how quickly the particle move based on the delta. They're multiplied. One thing to keep in mind, however, is that the particles have predetermined lifetimes, which they will always obey. So if their life is up, it will dissipate before reaching the end destination. How is life determined? Well, it depends on the texture itself and how many textures Mojang made for that particle. Okay, cool. Now we have the options of force or normal. There are toggles in the video settings to turn particles down or off entirely. Normal will default to whatever behavior the original particle has. So for example, end rods particles are considered non-essential or not render on minimal particles. But the scrape particle from removing oxidation from copper will always show up because Mojang thinks it's important. Force ignores all of that and will always show the particle. Finally, there's a target selector that tells the game who is allowed to see this particle. It is not necessary, and the game will default to showing this particle to everybody in the game. Important thing to note, if you target select entities, the command will not work, so make sure if you're using at E or N that you include type equals player. That's the basics. Certain particles like trail or block will have more to them, and I recommend reading the wiki if you're curious, or let me know and I can cover them later.